Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Hearts of Iron 4, Waking the Tiger, playing as the People's Republic of China, part of the Allies, beating the crud out of the Soviets. Because ultimate history is fun. I don't know. It's it's working, isn't it? Let's take all of you. We're going to apply you over here. We actually have more troops than I know what to do with at this point. Um, well, I guess we have to take a few of these guys. We're going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, set up a new army over here. Yet another one. Uh, we don't have any generals. So that's awkward. Let's set up a front line, let's say... Over down here. Like so. And you're going to have an offensive line to try and push and join up with Romania. So that they have to mess their front line up. Yes, that sounds good. Okay. That'll be the new goal of those motorized. The Czechs People Republic has capitulated. Say goodbye. No, they well, they have, but they're still they're still just as strong as they were a little bit ago. So that's fun. Uh, French military mission. Hey, I think we have a general now. Yes. Charles Berger. Le Hamberger. Construction battalions. Engineers technology. That's Max Entrenchment. Yep. I haven't finished researching all of my engineering support companies, so getting another one would be great. That would actually let me uh, catch up pretty quickly on those. All right, you guys can more or less sit tight. Um, let's go ahead and keep pushing against these cavalry. You're going there already. These guys are supposed to be on their way. We probably... You know? We don't need... We don't need quite this many troops on this side. I don't expect there to be a lot of reinforcements. So instead, we're going to have most of them join up over there. One, two, three, four. Go here. There we go. You guys are going to go this direction instead. It seems like a narrow front line for now. But it'll get a heck of a lot bigger in a bit. There we go. All right, we're still pushing against the uh, Soviets. We are winning on almost every front. Because infantry artillery with superior firepower doctrine is pretty darn good, even if you are playing as a nation that hasn't had access to tanks for a very, very long time. Any new decisions we care about? Could do some war bonds, and I have the political power, so let's go ahead and do that. That'll get me uh, some more civilian factories to work with. We have plenty of them right now, so we should be repairing a lot of stuff. Alright, this all seems good. Uh, in We have too much oil somehow. How'd that happen? Hmm. We're missing a little aluminum. It's just one. Honestly, not really worth my time. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm really looking forward to having a Soviet satellite. <laughs> this should be pretty fun. I'll let, I'll let Europe take over the Czech Republic and Slovakia and all that stuff. You can have it. I don't care. But I do care about owning all of Russia. The Austrian Soviet Republic has capitulated. So how are things looking? Yeah, wow, the Allies are... So here's the thing. I know that the Allies uh, are democratic, and I am not. However, in a weird sort of way, it's almost like we are trying to steer toward modern life, the way things are currently. Because China is still a part of kind of the world order, as it really stands right now, but they're not democratic. And yet somehow we're making that work, kind of. Well, okay, the reintroduction of tariffs and stuff kind of scares me recently, but yeah. So in its own weird way, if the Soviets die, but the People's Republic of China lives and the Allies don't feel the need to kill me, then we almost have created the actual pl the actual world. That's kind of funny in my view. All right, let's have one of you guys go over here. We're going to make sure we control the river. No more reinforcements across here, please. Uh, they are canceling their Lend leases with me. That's fine. I probably don't need it to begin with. We have too much steel all of a sudden. We will trade a... L well, we'll keep doing what we're doing. Wait. We can... There we go. We'll do this. And then we'll trade with France a bit. Um, and then we'll trade with the German Republic a little bit. How do we have no convoys required with the German Republic? No idea. Apparently we have borders with them somewhere, though. Alright, we don't need that much of that. We do need some more aluminum. Uh, we will trade with France, since we technically have borders with you. We'll trade with British Malaya for a bit of extra rubber so we can maintain our proper production. How are we doing on logistics? We do need a couple more hundred more medium tanks, but that's fine. There goes the Slovakian Socialist Republic. So basically the Iron Curtain is supposed to be falling right now. They're holding out. 
Uh, Romania, surprisingly, is making an aggressive push. I am in favor of that. We are utterly dominating Eastern Russia right now. Now, that's not where most of the victory points are going to come in. So I imagine we're going to lose out on a lot of opportunities for war score. Right now, we're sitting at 36% of war effort contributed by us. They've actually lost a lot of men, 1.6 million men. I've lost 200,000. And I got 20 million more ready to go at a moment's notice. So that's fun. The United Kingdom's doing pretty well. France is doing pretty well. The U.S. doesn't seem to have done much. Where are they? There they are. Yeah, they're not doing much at all right now. So yeah, I am currently the leader of the war in terms of contribution. Which is awesome. Red, I feel like, have not been doing much of anything lately, and I don't appreciate that. So we're going to have you guys start pushing this way. Go push. 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 You go here. You push. Yeah, I, I, apparently I have to manually tell you guys what to do today, which I don't like babysitting you, but since you're not doing anything... I know I told you not to be aggressive, but, like, this is a totally winnable fight, as I am currently proving. So what's wrong with you exactly? Wait, do you not have a... You do still have a, an offensive line. It's a little wonky, though. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Your offensive line now is just to push straight up. Like that. Okay? Okay? Go. Good. When you arrive, Orange, I want you to push. Uh, where's my purple? There they are. Hi, guys. I want all of you up here, please. It still says you have no organization. I know you're lying. It's because I don't want to push into a province with low supply, isn't it? That's probably exactly what's going on. You know what I'll do? What few transport planes I have? Hi, guys. Air supplies. Go here. Yay. In eastern Siberia, we are going to deploy some extra supplies. Maybe it even works. I don't know. I don't know how I didn't know that that was a thing. It makes perfect sense. I've always thought that they need to have other ways of getting some supplies in there. I'm really glad that they finally do. Let's go ahead and push along the coast. My orange army should be able to handle most of this. We have motorized, which means we can move pretty fast. Right now we're taking some attrition because I don't have enough supply. Because we're a little bit too, uh, too high in density right now. But that's not going to last for very long. We are now making some aggressive pushes over here. That's good. Um, this army can actually go ahead and keep their front line back here a little bit. And I'll let the orange start taking over from there. Okay, looking good. Bit of overlap. A bit too much overlap, actually. Edit. Um, wait. Is this correct? Oh, crud. Yeah, uh, this front line's way bigger than I expected it to be. Alright, well, you know what? It's fine. They're mostly there just to entrench while the green army does its pushing. Okay, uh, you guys, there's no reason not to just keep going. You go here. Uh, we have a slight gap, apparently. Can fix. Well, I thought I could. Hello. There you go. Okay. Um, don't really want to push against the river. Well, no, never mind. We already did cross the river, apparently. Good. The Soviets have nothing right now. Seriously, they've got absolutely nothing working to their advantage. We are playing all of the cards. Everything is mine. Okay. Good enough. How are we doing on construction? We are still repairing some infrastructure, but we'll figure that out. Recon companies have been upgraded. Excellent. Uh, we're not going to go for engineers until that new national focus is done. We could go for the logistics because I expect supplies to continue being an issue, but instead we are going to pick up... Do I want improved anti-tank? Yes. So I have a bit more piercing, since all of my division should have anti-tank. So that should be pretty helpful. I need the Red Army to start being aggressive, because they're being dumb. You have the t you have what it needs. Charles Burker falls ill. Of course he does. Um, you guys, push here. Go ahead and take Ostrakhan. We can handle that, right? There you go. Easy. And the Orange Army is getting in position. How are the supplies looking currently? A little bit low in this particular division, but we'll start figuring that out. 
Uh, no lend leases from you. That's fine. So right now we're doing very well on empty tanks, so we can actually afford to reduce this quite a bit. We will go for some extra motorized, I think. Um, maybe a little bit of extra transport planes, and then we don't really need anything else. Um, we're doing pretty well. I guess keep ramping up that motorized then. Trade. We need a heck of a lot more rubber. We do not need nearly this much tungsten anymore. So we can reduce that quite a bit. We don't need this much steel. Reduce. Reduce. Reuse. Recycle. We do, however, need a lot more aluminum. And a lot more oil. And apparently we're not having convoy issues anymore. Over here, so I'm guessing between the Japanese and the United States Navy, we managed to finish off a lot of the Soviet forces there. Good. Um, I think we can actually win most of these fights, and I'm going to set these guys to be aggressive again. I am fairly confident we can win pretty much everything. I'll tell you guys to be aggressive as well. Alright. So you guys are supposed to be on your way. You're still quite slow. There's an artillery upgrade. 10% more damage from all our artillery. That's excellent. Not going to go for nukes. There's no point at this point in going for extra fighters or ships. We do nothing with them. We could, however, go for some better tanks. I'm going to instead upgrade the recon company again. Still waiting on the national focus for the engineering companies. That'll be easy. Uh, we could go for some sort of a designer. We haven't finished Chinese panzers. And we can't hire a Soviet designer anymore. That's fine, though. All the more reason to go for the German panzers. Again, I just think it'd be hilarious. China with the power of German tanks? Heck yes. Heck yes. What are you doing? Okay, you're being dumb. Aha! He has revealed himself. Kill him. Okay. Um, and we have more reinforcements still on the way. Okay. I think all we do is just sit back. Ireland... Didn't Ireland already join the Allies? I thought they had been a part of the Allies. Not anymore, it seems. That's fine, though. Um, how are we doing on deploying any tanks? Well, we have all the equipment we need. They're just not trained. I guess I'm in no rush, but... I'd like to start seeing some more. What's this? No Fiats. Thank you, though. But I don't think I need your fancy Italian cars. Red, let's spread your front line out a little bit because you're currently getting kind of stuck with nothing to do. Spread you out over here. And spread you out over here. Or not. I did tell you to... There we go. Go do this. That's easy enough. What's going on here? Missing equipment production? Fighters. Well, yeah. I still don't know how to fly. <laughs> I'm fighting the Soviet Union and somehow winning, but I still don't know how to fly a uh, plane. I don't know how to build airplanes. This is mysterious black magic to me. This is going to be such a freaking eyesore, but there's nothing I can do. Unless I can, like, leave the faction now, which I can't because we're fighting in a war together, so no. Yeah, there's just nothing I can do there. That'll be fine. Um, let's go ahead and have you push out. Have you push across the river? I just don't want to have to worry about getting entrenched there. You leaving, Anyali? All right. She is going to get a haircut. Good luck. You look so downtrodden. Are you okay? You're worried they're going to chop it all off? You're paying them. They'll do whatever they tell you tell them to. Wouldn't worry too much. I think it'll be fine. First time she's gotten like a proper uh, professional haircut in a while. I've been doing a lot of the haircutting. Huh? In three years, she says. Three years since she's had a proper haircut by a professional. I've been trimming her hair for a while now. She's been cutting mine, too. She's actually quite talented. But yeah, that's fun for her. Actually, speaking of Anyali, uh, at the very end of the last episode, after I said that um, the UK was taking over Crimea, she ran to the door and just stood there for a second. And I'm like, okay, let me finish recording. Okay, what's up, Anyali? And she's like, Crimea River. I'm like, did you come over here just so you could say that? And she's like, yes. That is my wife, guys. This is what I have to live with. All right, so what else do we want to do? Um, I'm going to say more transport planes, to be honest. 
More transport planes so that I can actually situationally get myself some extra supply in the event that I need it. Doing okay in terms of steel for the time being. Do need a bit more tungsten now, and there we go. All right. Lend lease. Opal Blitz. No thanks. Construction battalions. Thank you, French. Um, we could go for an infantry weapons upgrade if we do this. This would head towards support artillery. We don't really need much of anything. We could do a mission to the United States and make them like me more. But I think we'll go for the small arms expertise. Seems fine. We could go for the national focuses to, like, integrate Tibet. I don't know why those have not automatically completed, because we have taken over Tibet. Also, if we do that, all that happens is it's just like, Hey, do you want to have the option to upset India? And it's like, well, we're a part of the Allies, so... No, I don't, actually. Um, these horsemen should have to get out of here, right? House supply, quite bad over here. Let's see if we can upgrade the infrastructure in this area a little bit. We haven't fully conquered the state, which is part of the problem. Um, go for a bit more infrastructure in these areas. I'd like to see a minimum of three. I just think that would help a lot. More motorized. I cannot afford to keep getting all this stuff. We don't need this many uh, military factories. We finally hit that stage where I actually do not care. I don't need it. Um, no, not Romania. We'll trade with the United States. And we'll get some more aluminum from France. And we'll sit back and enjoy the fireworks. The People's Republic of China is becoming one heck of an empire. Look at that. It's amazing. And I know the Soviets got, like, nothing valuable up here. Really what we could be doing is focusing, like, all of our efforts to head toward Moscow. And you know what? I'm going to do exactly that. Hi, guys. Your new front line is to take over Moscow. That's your new goal. Okay? Go. I care not about anything else. I do not actually want to join up with Romania or anybody else. I just want to take over Stalingrad and Moscow so that I get the victory points. And the war contribution. That way I can take whatever the heck I want. Still sitting at 36% war participation right now. With France leading second place, then the United Kingdom, and then the Germans. <clears throat> Republican Spain still exists? UK, how have you not killed them yet? Wait, because they're not actually in the war. They're in common term, but they refuse to join. That was arguably a smart play by them. Uh, why aren't you guys taking over this little snippet of the Soviets here? That shouldn't be there. I don't know. I guess they decided that that's not a high priority. Okay. Um, we should see you guys pushing. Sure enough, we do. Very slowly because of supply issues, but you're getting there. What can we do over here? We aren't... We are out of supply, yeah. Supply status only 38%. Ouch. Well, let's disband this air wing. No, 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 no. Uh, disband air wing. You, pretty much, like, anytime you get transport planes, just increase your numbers so we can start dropping more supplies. That's it. 28. That's a slight improvement. I have no idea how much more... That will help us. It says we need 15.2 more supply. Huh. Huh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. How much supply do we get per transport plane? I bet you we could manipulate that to, like, find out, but I'm a little lazy. Supply-wise, we are doing A-OK -okay on this side. So, really, it's just this state. And since we haven't taken over the entire state... We can't build a new infrastructure. We don't even own it all. You guys push these guys out. Actually, go here. You push this guy out. You guys are reinforcing currently. That's fine. Lin Biao wounded again? Good lord. I'm not feeling very impressed by some of these people. Uh, You can reinforce a little bit. There we go. Nope. Hang on. Keep pushing. Don't stop. You can sort of make it across the river. Yeah, it's not a good fight. Okay. 
Whatever, we'll get there eventually. Um, we've almost pushed all the way to the tip top of the world. Which is awesome. Excavation is done, which means we actually have a new decision. We could go for... No, we don't. Oh. Excavation 1 didn't get anything. Excavation level 2, and in particular 3, would give me a lot of options. What do you know? Uh, let's go ahead and grab that upgraded engineering company, since we have the research time reduction. And we're going to focus on more transport planes. And we are going to trade for some more rubber. And we don't need this much tungsten. And we need more aluminum. There we go. Okay. Um, you go ahead and go to Grozny. You actually go to Grozny. You just start cleaning this area out. Go all the way over here. It's a stupid front line. It's not a very good move. Right? Because it's going to spread me thin. Um, I really want Stalingrad. Push. Push. Fight that. Field hospital upgraded. Good. Let's do that again. More freaking factories? Good lord. Fine. More artillery, I guess. I don't know. I don't actually need much of anything at this point. How are those tanks doing? Are they deployed? Not really. No. Um... You push against that real quick. You push here. You help. Nope. All right. You go again. This, this city. Anti-tank upgrade. Good. Improved anti-tank. Go ahead and shove some more guys on anti-tank production so that we will be able to do a quick upgrade. I'll get all the steel from Japan. We don't need this much rubber, it turns out. Somehow we just got a lot of resources. I'm guessing we just took a particularly important state from the Soviets. Reduce you by one. Now I need more tungsten. And that's the best we can do with the Japanese. Okay. So you're just going to go all the way down over there. Uh, you're just going to go over Mia And say, hi guys, you're going to be trapped in the mountain range. How's it feel? I know, kind of sucks to be you, don't it? Uh, more reinforcements are on the way. We are spreading ourselves very thin indeed. But that's more victory points for me. I may want to consider reworking these front lines again a little bit. Have you go over here. You back her up over here. That's about as much as I can handle, actually. Okay, but we've almost joined forces with the UK, and that means they'll get a big surround in on these Soviets. I'd like to be the one who gets the kills, but I don't think it matters that much. Because uh, I'm going to get the victory points, and then we're going to push everything we've got towards Stalingrad. So you know what? I may actually say, screw this. If we lose some of this front line, that's fine. Um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take you. Take your front line. Nope, 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 nope. Stop. Take your front line, back it on up to this. Okay, everything that goes on over here that we just took, I'm just going to trust that I can hold on to it. I don't care what the Soviets do. If they do actually decide to go and backtrack and take all that land, fine. That's less troops on their front line, which means the French and the UK can push against them. Doesn't matter. Important thing is that I push towards Moscow, and I try to be the one to get it. I probably will not succeed, but I shall try. Okay, still waiting on more supplies. Good lord, I can't keep track of the trade. I wish there was an option to be just like auto trade, you know? I feel like that could be useful. Because I don't like having to click those stupid buttons. Alright, that's a lot of troops that are just waiting to freaking die right here. Can you guys like push in and surround them in some way? I kind of doubt it, but I'd like you to. There we go. Yeah, that's like eight divisions that are just uh, ready for the taking. You guys push against this. One of you go here. Nope, never mind. Mm. Push, push, push. Looks like we already are. Okay. Okay. Uh, blue line, you don't have to be there anymore. 
Back up. No. <sighs> These front lines, I feel like, are a little harder to grab than they used to be. There we go. Back up. To... Here. Okay. This tiny little army can handle the rest. I hope. What are you currently doing? Answer? Nothing. So some of you are going to go that way. You guys are going to go this way. Uh, the war should be ending pretty soon, actually. They are 82% of the way towards capitulation. Honestly, if we can get Moscow, I suspect that's going to be it. I think this is the end of the series, guys. I really do. I know that we may have to run a little long, but if we do, so be it. I think we freaking got it. I'm going to tell you guys basically to just don't stop pushing until you get to Moscow. That's it. Um, and you guys go up here first. There we go. Yeah, just keep pushing. Don't stop pushing until you get it. We don't stop going and we don't stop going and we don't stop going and we don't. Actually. Can you hold or don't? Good grief. Okay, I was going to try to stop this guy before he grabbed this, but that's fine, I guess. Sverdlovsk. What happened to my front lines here? Why did they get all split up? I don't know. Do this. There you go. Okay, um, my motorized apparently took that to heart and are indeed trying to make a uh, sudden push. Well, this looks like a surefire way to get a cutoff that gets me killed. Probably not a smart play. Uh, let's have some of you guys like just follow up behind them. My motorized are going to get themselves killed horribly. I'm pretty confident. Uh, what happened down over here? Okay, so you guys did get a cutoff over here. That's great. We do not need this front line here. Uh, Orange Army, some of you guys did not get deployed properly, so you're all going to go to this. I'll let you guys redeploy a little bit on your front line so we don't get cut off. There you go. Okay. They're going to spread out and grab some of this land. There we go. Good job, Motorized. Good job. You're taking it all. Going for the win, man. We're going for the win. Should be able to push out this tank. That'll be a surround on a couple of troops. Not much, though. Uh, which is enough, apparently. Small arms expertise. Thank you, French. Elite Mountaineers, I guess. Unassigned Divisions. hey -o. All of you join this army. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Can you please, like, just go somewhere and do something? Anything? I'm not picky. Have you guys still not taken this freaking city? There's the engineering company. Done. Good. Um, small arms. I think the only thing we're going to get out of that is night vision, eventually. We're working on the improved anti-tank. Let's go for some excavation level three. More unassigned divisions, eh? Oh, look! A whole bunch of motorized. We did lose a troop, apparently, somewhere. This guy. You guys go here. You are going to get assigned to this guy's front line. Which uh, is here. There we go. Um, apparently we're getting trapped. Not happy about that. How about this? You guys sneak around. There we go. Don't get cut off. It's just, that's just dumb. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. All right. Push against everything and go to Moscow. It's not going to matter, though. Romania and Poland and Latvia are going to get all of that. How are we close are we looking right now? Very close. Soviet Union is 90% of the way towards capitulation. 90% indeed. Uh, front line's got all messed up over here. Some of you guys are being stupidly aggressive now. Let's fix some of that. You be aggressive. You be aggressive. All right. Thank you, UK, for stopping this guy apparently from going somewhere. Now we'll get a quick cutoff on him. That's going to hurt his heart. Probably. 
Even these motorized are running really slow. Why? You don't have enough gas. Literally. Probably. Also, the game is just crawling by right now. Crawling, I tell you. How are we looking over here? We're, we're making our push. What's this? You want to send me expeditionary forces? Sure, but I'm not going to do anything with them, probably. Um, I need my front line to readjust here. I want to make sure that we get the progress. No, no, no. What just happened? Did I not... Was I not very clear about editing this line? There we go. Okay. Hold. Redeploy. Go to my lands. You guys go this way towards Moscow. Looks like we can get a few kills. I don't think we're at risk of losing anything else anywhere right now, so all seems well. Can you push against this, please? Push into those mountains, please. Actually, you kill him, please. Yeah, he's he's out of supply. He's not going to last long. Um, motorize. Go up here. We need to join this up so we can get some supply and give him a uh, way to retreat. Come on. Come on, get up here. Oh, good grief, you're making me lose troops. How slow can you be? Apparently pretty slow. Slow enough that... And there it is! The Soviet Union capitulates! And we have 2,000 war score! Heck yes! Soviet Union! Can I not puppet you? Change government. I don't want to change government. That might be the only way that I can do it, though. I wanted to puppet you. Well, um, I mean... Okay. What's this? No, we're not gonna... We're not gonna liberate things to Azerbaijan or anything else there. Okay, we're gonna do that. We'll, we'll change their government, and that may be the closest I can get to, like, a puppet. We're going to take our... Oh, we can't take our land from the Chinese People's Republic. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not risking this. We're taking... We're taking my land here, okay? This is the end of the series. I'm taking my stuff. I can't take this, apparently, which makes me sad. Okay. Now can we change your government? Okay, we can do that and we can change your government. End turn. And they are indeed going to be a puppet. Okay. Pass. We are going to take a lot of this land up here. This is all going to be mine. I want these resources. There's rubber up here? How'd that happen? I don't know. We're going to take all this. This is for me, though. Apparently, some of your land's pretty cheap, which is great. Um, I guess you're keeping this land over here for some reason. That's fine, though. We're going to take all this. All the way up to these mountains, I think. It's too much. And turn. Pass, pass, take. And for the sake of my puppet, we're going to start taking some states for you. So we'll go ahead and spread you out of this direction. Go all the way over here. Grab Leningrad. Okay. So we're going to maintain a fair bit of the Soviet Union, actually. Um, maybe I don't want to give him these. Maybe I'll take that for myself, after all. We can do this, though. Okay. Um, and then... Maybe I will take a lot more of this land for myself. I don't care about the Balkans or Bulgaria or anything down there, so... That's not a big deal to me if these uh, allies want to do something with that. End turn. Pass, pass. I'm going to go ahead and grab these for myself. We're going to push ourselves all the way up toward Europe. This is all mine now. Okay. All of this. Nope, too much. Take, pass. Take, take. Puppet. 
take, 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 take. And turn. Uh, what's left, really? Change government. Change government. And turn. You didn't take all of the- why did- why did you not take these? Slovakia, you may have. Um, Austria. Austria. Austria may have these. Sure, this is gonna look really stupid. Take. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's it. Alright! Done! And that should be everything. Holy crud. This is the new People's Republic of China. The border gore is still pretty real. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. I'm leaving your faction now. Um, and we would still not be able to def justify a war goal. Huh. Yeah, I can't justify... I'm in a non-aggression pact, apparently. Anyway, that's a good place to end this video, guys. That's the People's Republic of China after we betrayed the common turn. And they all now serve me. Okay, well, that is where we are going to end this series. Communist China. I do find it to be a little bit underwhelming, because half of the national focuses are diplomacy-based, which isn't quite as fun for me, but it's entirely possible that I played it wrong. Um, we tried out a different couple of strategies, there were some misfires along the way, but at least we got to experience some of the new mechanics in Waking the Tiger. Some of them are pretty fun. Field Marshals, I still kinda hate. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this series, and we'll hit that like button if you did. Leave a comment with your support, and subscribe if you have not already. My name is Provis, and I will see you guys next time.